The launch event is already underway and we're just going to bring in one of the stakeholders in this process, a uh, player in the housing space for quite a while, Mr. Rally Mambuele, now speaking to him as the chair of the Sustainable Materials and Construction Centre at the UJ. That's really the project manager of what we're launching today. Mr. Mambuele, thank you so much for making the time. Thank you and uh, good morning to your viewers as well. We're quite excited to be here today as the SMEC, which is basically the center that manages um, all the innovative construction uh, methods. We want to make sure that we can accelerate delivery of affordable housing in South Africa currently. You know, we are sitting in a situation where housing has now become an emergency. We have really moved away from being in a crisis and actually ending up in a situation where there's an emergency. You've been in the space for quite a while. You know the challenges very well, whether pertaining to policy or actual implementation. How will this add value? Definitely. I mean, one of the things that we're dealing with right now in the world is the triple C's. You know, we're dealing with the conflicts, the war in Ukraine. We are dealing with the, with the recovery from COVID. We are dealing with the climate uh, uh, changes that is taking place in the country. We need to give hope to our people. We need to give hope to the Af South Africans. We need to give hope to Africa. We are in a decade of Africa where in this 10 years we need to show off what we can do as Africa. So one of the things that we are doing as the continent is really driving innovative construction because we, we believe that part of our recovery plan as a continent, as a country, we need to work and look and say, can we use infrastructure and housing to recover so that we can give opportunities for our people to be able to get jobs in a space create new industries. There's been concerns about does 3D not disturb in terms of uh, the, the challenges of uh, stopping job for, for people? No. There are opportunities where there will be some jobs that are going to be lost, but there will be opportunities for new jobs that are going to be happening. I mean, for example, in the near future, Africa should be able to manufacture 3D print machines in this continent. And that will also create more jobs that uh, will be exciting for us in helping us to, to accelerate deliver of affordable housing in South Africa. That's actually been part of my biggest bugbear. When do we get to a point where we're creating our own? Definitely. I think we are here. I mean, already there are robots that have been created in the country. Funny enough, uh, CSI and I'm not speaking on their behalf, they've already started to sort of uh, do prototype of 3D print uh, machines for different sectors. And I think as a continent, there's definitely an opportunity for us. We have the raw material. Why not? So we shouldn't look at the 3D print from a housing point of view only, but to say what other elements are we going to be able to get the benefits out of it. So it's going to be quite, it's actually quite exciting uh, what's going to be happening in the continent. Of course, what we're dealing with at this point is R&D. Uh, at what point do we talk about implementation and scale? Uh, we've always been talking about the housing backlog and added to that is the situation in KZN in the Eastern Cape after the floods. At what point can people say, oh, we're starting to build that, that house that they say takes eight hours to build. That's actually a good point. I mean, wearing this cap as a, as, a, as, a, as a chairperson of the UJ, smacked, we are saying let, uh, let's move away only, you know, let's not just put this into a study. Let's go out, let's go and do public-private partnership. We believe that the housing challenge in the continent and the country will be able to be resolved by the private sector with government. So we have been speaking, I think private sector is now stepping in. There are a lot of funds that have been created in terms of dealing with impact investment in the, in the country in making sure that we can accelerate delivery of affordable housing. So the private sector, they know how to do this. You know, if you look at places like Midran, how Midran has been developed, waterfall, in less than 10 years, look at a new city. We believe the private sector should step in and work with government and academia in making sure that we can resolve the emergency challenges that we are having in housing in the, in the, in the country. So SMECT speaks to the sustainability of these projects. How sustainable are they? How practical are they? How livable are they? Yeah. So basically, you know, one of the things that we do in this country, we really are very good at regulations. I mean, Obviously, the project that we look at as the university, where we are studying different methods, not only 3D, we are looking at other ways, how, how, how to better the, the manufacturing of bricks, looking at other alternative building technology, not only 3D. So that is going to become sustainable. But the nice thing about it is that we are having a regulator in this country, which is um, um, the Agrima SA. So no any technology, yes, no technology will go out there without the Agrima SA having tested it and making sure that it's safe 
and livable for our people. A South African watching us now and wondering uh, what benefit this all is to them. What do you say to them? We're saying let's celebrate as South African. Let's, let's give hope to our youth, to our women. We are creating opportunities for women to be able to want to come into construction. See 3D as a fashionable new, new method of delivering housing into the country. We are bringing young people, we are bringing youth. So we are creating new exciting jobs. And that's going to be exciting and while we are busy accelerating delivery of affordable housing in South Africa. Yes, thank you for talking to us, Mr. Rali Mampuele is the chairperson of the Sustainable Materials and Construction Centre at the UJ, who are the project managers of this uh, 3D construction uh, printer that's being launched here today. You saw the Minister of Higher Education and Science and uh, Innovation uh, just conducting that launch earlier.